Hi friends, welcome to the video. The topic for today's video is about word for dot test. In this video, let us learn about the basics of the word for dot test, the clinical interpretation and the uses of the word for dot test. Let's begin the video. This is a clinical test which is mainly used for assessing the patient's degree of binocular vision. By definition, binocular vision involves an image being projected by each eye simultaneously into an area in space and being fused into a single image. So clinical use of word for daughters is to assess the patient's binocular vision. It is mainly used in cases of strabismus, anisometropia, anisoconia and amblyopia. In all these cases, there is a disruption in the fusion. So it helps in identification of the anomalous retinal correspondence, suppression and diplopia. The word for dot test can be performed on two distances, both for distant as well as for near. In both the procedures, the patient is asked to wear red-green goggles with the red on the right side and the green on the left side. We have to dim the room light for the procedure. The patient is asked to look at the word for dot instrument. The lights are arranged in a diamond formation with the red light on the top and the two green lights on the other side and white light at the bottom. For interpretation of the test and for the diagnosis, we need to ask the following questions to the patient. How many lights are you seeing? What color are they? Where are they located? Are they in the same line or one is higher than the other? And do all the lights show up at one time or they are flashing on, on and off? So let us see how to interpret the word for dot test. The number of possible ways the patient can respond. So in case of normal retinal correspondence, which means the patient has got no apparent squint, the patient will see exactly the lights as they appear. So they usually see a four lights, which is one in red color, two green color on either sides and one in the mixed color. So when the patient reports four lights, it is documented as fusion, which is binocular single vision. The next possibility is abnormal retinal correspondence. In abnormal retinal correspondence, the patient will report fusion in word for dot, even in presence of manifest deviation. We clearly see a movement on the cover test, but in spite of the manifest deviation, strong spin, the patient will report fusion. The other possibility is suppression. So this can happen when the patient has got a large manifest deviation, the patient undergoes suppression. Say the patient has got suppression in the right eye, where the patient will report only three green dots, which means the patient is unable to see the red color dot from the right eye. So this is documented as right eye suppression. Similarly, when there is suppression in the left eye, the patient will respond only he is able to see two red color dots because he is not able to see the green light from the left eye. The other response can be alternate suppression where the patient will be able to respond like he is able to see two red lights or three green lights but not all the lights at the same time. So this is recorded as alternate suppression. The other possibility is diplopia where the patient reports five dots two red and three green. So this uh, diplopia can be presented in different ways. Let us see the first one, which is in ESO deviation, where the patient will experience uncrossed diplopia. So when you ask about how many lights they see, they usually say they see five lights, two red and three green, and the lights are horizontally displaced and see side by side. The red color lights from the right eye on seen on the right side, and the green, green lights from the left eye are seen on the left side. So this is recorded as five lights, and cross diplopia. Similarly, in exo deviation, the patient might experience cross diplopia. So when you ask again, the patient might respond. They see five lights, two red and three green, but the the two red light from the right side are seen on the left side, and the green lights on the left side are seen on the right side. So this is documented as diplopia, and it is cross diplopia. The next type of diplopia is a vertical diplopia, means which is seen in vertical deviations. Again, the person will see five lights, two red and three green, but the lights are vertically displaced to one another. The examiner can relate the position of light to the deviation of the eye. The higher lights belong to the lower eye and the lower lights belong to the eye which has got higher position. So the green light in from the left eye, which is on the top of the red light, indicates the patient has got right hypertropia or left hypertropia. Let us compare the advantages and the disadvantages of this test. Advantages are it is relatively easier to perform the test and it has got less dissociation between the eyes unlike the cover test. 
and it is a very good starting point to evaluate the different types of diplopia the patient might have and is quite easier to interpret too coming to disadvantages it is highly subjective and it because it depends on patient's response to evaluate the condition and the red green color blind individuals may find it very very difficult to perform the test as um, and it also is done under dim illumination it is not a real life condition because it is not relevant to what the patient sees in a normal day to day life this that's all for the worth for dot test today i hope you really like the video for more optimally related videos kindly subscribe my channel Thanks for watching.